This here piece is a piece that I took out of the belly of the tank uh, when I was making room for the engine and I saved it because it fits really nice here on this hole. And this here was actually a mount where it mounted on to the plane like a strut or something because it's like it was really strong. Uh, so I hacked it out of there, but I'm going to leave that one piece in there because it'll it'll kind of lose the integrity of the, the tank in there. So I just cut it so it's below level, and and I got Gage to give me a hand to hold the piece up, and I scribed it with some DICOM, and now I'm going to grind it back so this piece here fits into that hole, and then I have to pop rivet a piece on the back side of it so that I can hold it in place. So we'll just do a quick fit here. Right there like that. And that'll finish it off and I'll recycle a piece of the tank from another spot to fill the tail hole. There were some rusty screws in this plate that's in the hood, so I drilled them all out and put pop rivets in them. So they'll polish up and look the same as the rest of it. Flat anvil going here, and I'm ironing out all these shrinks, because these shrinks kind of gather and make little lumps. So once you uh, drive over the shrinks, they go away and then there's not as much sanding involved. Might even take a body hammer and give it a little shot. But it's pretty symmetrical. Looks pretty symmetrical. And I can I can finish it like there's a bit of a ridge right there when I flatten it out, but once I hit that with the body hammer it'll correct it. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to hit her with the body hammer. So I started spinning a wheel cover and it looks really good. I just jacked it up and I spun the wheel and held some sandpaper on it. Turned out really well. And back here at the back of the car, I've taken that pointy uh, nose cone off because it's kind of pointy. And I'm going to uh, add a flange on here. And I just did a rough cut and I'm going to put a uh, a stop light in the end of it right there and maybe put a grill over it kind of so it looks like a uh, a jet engine <laughs> and uh, it'll uh, shorten the car and make it a little more uh, aesthetically pleasing to people following me because they're afraid they're going to rear end me and poke themselves with my pointy rear end so this will be uh, more mundane, but still have taste. This is what I ended up with. 
and there's my lens right there it's kind of a red color kind of hard to get focus but yeah so that looks pretty cool it looks like a, a a rocket engine or a jet engine so I'm in the nose cone here I'm leveling off this plate doohickey thing right here because I want to mount my headlight on it. I want to make the headlights pneumatic and pop out with engine vacuum and then spring closed when I shut the car off so the headlights will pop out when the car is running because it creates vacuum and it sucks them out of the car and I'd like to make it so that they mount off that base right there and pop out the side of a car with a side of the front of the nose here with a little flap and then when I pull the headlight in the door will close with a spring so I have to situate how they're going to mount on that plate right there and adjust it make it so it's adjustable so I can aim the headlights so I'm trying to figure out how to make these lights come out in the same spot and occupy the same space but they can't so they have to be offset from one another so I came up with this plan right here in the drawing so that's gonna have to do the job so they come out in the same position on both sides of that area right there so after much deliberation I'm going to mount my lights like that and I'm going to make this bulb right here have a shaft that's got a kink in it like that and this bulb right here goes this way and I have to make it go kink like that so one's going to be kicked back and the other one's going to be kicked forward and they're going to come out on a diagonal but they're going to pop out straight because I'm squaring them off by bending the shaft where they where they where they come out so that should work so I made this template right here squared board template and make that out of a piece of 3 16th steel I'm going to mount it onto this little bracket right here and then I think what will probably happen is I'm going to have to custom make some doors for this area here because I'm sure that I'm going to lay it out, you know, by scribing it and, you know, kind of hand bombing it and trying to make it, you know, as aesthetically symmetrical and, and as pleasing to the eye as possible. And by the time I'm done, I'll have made the lid too small or the hole too big. And then I'll have to custom make a door that fits in a hole that I make that's on both sides exactly the same and then I'll make a template, lay it on there, position it where I want it, and then flip it over onto the other side and do the same thing. So that's my plan, that's my game plan. Now I'm working on the, uh, the pop-out headlights. I cut this piece out and I made a made headlight door for it so these lights will actually uh, can actually slide in. There we go. Just at the right angle. They're going to be vacuum, and uh, they just slide in with a little bit of little bit of pressure. And um, I'm going to make it so that the the door fits fits like that and then it'll flip open and I'll probably have a little a little uh, uh, UMHW strip on the back here and I'm going to make a little wheel on the back so it rolls on it and then when the lights go in the door will close spring loaded so that should work pretty good so I'll show you the inside see what that looks like so here's the setup I uh, I made like a, a base in here 
and it's like an arch and then there's this adjustable slide right here and basically uh, these are air cylinders and I'll be putting some vacuum from the engine there on a, on a vacuum switch and then there's another hole in the end here so I can suck them closed or suck them open and then they just basically slide out like that but this one's scrubbing a little bit right now because I need to put this 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 guiding prop rod in here so that so that it clears so when it goes out it slides perfectly it's just a little a little sticky needs some oil on it but yeah that's my headlights so that's how that's going to work I'm kind of impressed with that little uh, maneuver if you haven't noticed, these are brand new Pirellis that I got all the way around. So I bought a set of four. And uh, I bought uh, two new radiators because I used some some uh, some beater rads for, uh, for, for fabrication. 